Hello, my dear learners, welcome to English 7, Quarter 2, Module 1, with our topic, Listening Approaches. Shall we have first, What I Need to Know part. Listening comprehension is one of the basic skills to be developed to understand, retell, and discuss what is heard. Certain strategies are applied to be able to connect your prior ideas and post ideas in a particular subject. You must know how to listen carefully. Why? Because it helps you weigh points well and give relevant response. It is also a great way to develop one's critical thinking skills as your mind is trained to dig deeper information. As the saying goes, the world is giving you answers each day. Just learn how to listen. So in this module, I'll be giving you a guide on how to answer the different activities. Just be ready to listen and to learn. You are also expected to use different listening strategies based on purpose, familiarity with the topic and levels of difficulty of simple, informative, and short narrative texts. Let us have the first activity, the what's in activity. Directions. Connect the word with the picture it suggests at the opposite side. Write only the letter which corresponds to the answer on the space provided. What you're going to do is to look closely on the pictures and then you have to write the letter on the blank to what these words suggest. For example, number one, alcohol. What is your answer? The correct answer is a letter. You got it right. The answer is a letter J. Number two, mask. The answer is, that's correct. The answer is letter C. Number three, cough. What's your answer? Very good. It's letter B. What about number four? Food bath. The answer is, or the picture is a letter. That is right. It's a letter E. And number five, sanitizer. The answer is a letter. That is correct. It's a letter F. So I do believe you can make it with number 6 to number 10. Let us proceed to letter B. Instructions. Listen attentively as someone reads the statements for you. Write yes if you agree and no if you disagree. Write your answer on the space provided. What you're going to do here is to really get the correct statements from number 1 to number 5 then answer yes or no by thinking properly on what should be done with COVID-19. Number one, fever, dry cough, and tiredness are the most common symptoms of COVID-19. What should be the answer? The correct answer is, very good, it's yes. Fever, dry cough, and tiredness are really the most common symptoms of COVID-19. Number two, most infected people develop mild to moderate illness and recover without hospitalization. What's the answer? The correct answer should be, that's right, it should be no. Most infected people who develop mild to moderate illness should recover through hospitalization. Number three, difficulty in breathing is not a serious symptom of COVID-19. What's your answer? You got it right. The answer should be no. 
Why? Because difficulty in breathing is really a serious symptom of COVID-19. So please do number four and number five. You can make it. Now let's proceed to the next activity. Did you know? So these is now the proper way on how to wash your hands and how to clean your hands to protect you from infection. So it says here proper hand washing takes about a few seconds like singing happy birthday twice using the image just below. So shall I sing it for you? And there you have it. You have now a protected and clean hands. Especially in this time of pandemic, make sure to wash your hands properly with soap and water. All right, let's proceed to our next activity. What's new activity? Letter A. Let's listen. Instructions. Have someone read the text for you and listen to the important details to answer the questions. For those who have access to the internet, you can visit the link below and listen. This is courtesy of the World Health Organization, WHO, on YouTube.com. What about let me read this article through news reporting? All right, let's begin. Make sure to listen carefully so you can answer letter B, let's connect. Coronavirus disease COVID-19 In December 2019, there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in the city of Wuhan in China. Some of the early cases had reported visiting or working in a seafood and live animal market in Wuhan. Investigations found that the disease was caused by newly discovered coronavirus. The disease was subsequently named COVID-19. It spreads within China and to the rest of the world. On 30 January 2020, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. In this video, we'll take a quick look of what is currently known as COVID-19. Keep in mind that this is a new disease and what's known is rapidly evolving and might change in the future. So what is coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by a lipid envelope with protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. Crown in Latin is called corona and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause illness in animals and humans. In humans, coronaviruses can cause respiratory infection ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases. These include the severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus first identified in China in 2003, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and SARS-CoV-2. The name of the virus that causes COVID-19 that was first reported in December 2019. Where did this new virus come from? It's known that coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans and this is called the spillover and could be due to a range of factors such as mutations of the virus or increased contacts between humans and animals. For example, MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cat. The animal reservoir of the new coronavirus is not known yet. How does the disease spread? The disease can spread from person to person through droplets when an infected person releases those droplets through coughing, talking, or sneezing, for example, when close to another person. It can also spread when infected droplets land on objects and when another person touches them and then touches their eyes, nose, or mouth. 
What are the symptoms? The incubation period, which is the time taken from exposure to the virus and development of symptoms, is on average 5 to 6 days but can range from 1 to 14 days. There can be a range of symptoms from very mild to severe. Some people may not develop symptoms. Common symptoms include fever, fatigue, and respiratory symptoms such as cough, sore throat, and shortness of breath. Some people reported loss of their sense of taste or smell, and some may develop a skin rash. How can we tell whether someone is infected? The infection is commonly diagnosed by a test called the reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, generally known as PCR. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There is also a blood test that can check the antibodies against the virus which may show that someone was infected in the past. How is it treated? The treatment for COVID-19 is mainly supportive care medicines against the virus are currently under investigation. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? There are a number of ways of effective ways to prevent the spread of the disease. This includes covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a flexed elbow or tissue and throwing the tissue in a closed bin immediately after use. Wash hands regularly with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub, maintaining at least one meter distance from people and the appropriate use of mask and personal protective equipment, especially in health settings. It's important to stay at home if you're feeling well and to call a hotline or your medical professional but if you have a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share your travel history or contact with someone in well with healthcare provider. In some areas, governments have implemented specific physical and social distancing measures to prevent the spread of the outbreak. It's important to follow their advice. Vaccines to prevent COVID-19 are currently under development and scientists around the world are working hard to make this happen. That's a quick look at this emerging infectious disease. To answer activity B, let's connect. We have the directions. Supply data to each question in the graph. Write your answer on the space provided. And where would you get your answer? You can get your answer from the article that we have just read. You may get your answer from this paragraph with the question what is COVID-19? Another question, where did it come from? Examine this paragraph for the question, how is it transmitted? And the final question is, how do we prevent its transmission?